Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review and today we are checking out a very special and very unique pistol mod and that's going to be the Peacekeeper by Zest of Lemon. Now the Peacekeeper, otherwise known as the Cult Single Action Army, is a mod that we have seen before for Fallout 4 but this one is very, very different. While most mods are going to boast about the different things they bring to the table, a lot of times the different attachments and uh, variations of them that make them unique, this mod is really going to heavily focus on its animations and its sound design. It's uh, very noticeable when you take this thing to a weapon workbench that there aren't a ton of attachments. However, there are a lot of options that are very different from normal weapon mods. What I mean by that is when you head to a weapons workbench, you can actually choose different sound options as well as different animation options. And there's actually a pretty plentiful selection to really tweak this weapon to perform exactly how you want in game. Rather than selecting from an optional file on the Nexus, you actually pick it in game so that you can hear them all side by side or see them all side by side and choose which one you like the best, which is pretty interesting. And you could honestly do a weird bit of roleplay with this weapon that uh, we'll get into in just a little bit. I suppose for starters, we should talk about the stats. That's going to be one of the simpler things in this mod, as it gets pretty crazy from here. This thing has a base damage of 50. It shoots 45 caliber rounds by default, has a fire rate of 40, a range of 59, an accuracy of 58, a weight of 6 pounds, and a value of 170 caps. And as you can see, this is a mighty fine looking revolver. Pretty standard in looks, but trust me, in function, it's going to be pretty wild. So let's go ahead and check out animations because I feel like those are one of the uh, most important parts of this version of the single action army. Let's go ahead and equip a single action army or the peacekeeper. And as you can see, you're holding the weapon. Pretty interesting. Look at his hand. What's his hand doing over there? Well, it's actually ready to uh, hip fire this thing and slam the hammer back. As you can see, we will fan it when we hip fire. And this thing does have a mighty long but pretty beautiful reload. Now, something that may be hard to notice is that this weapon has built-in variations for the animation. Uh, first of all, it does have tactical reload support, so if I shoot all six rounds, as you saw, I reloaded all six rounds, but if I shoot three, it will reload three. just like that, which is a really nice feature. Let's go ahead and get a look at this thing firing while ADSing. Honestly, the animations for this thing are just beautiful, but it doesn't end there. Like I said earlier, there are animation variations that we can choose at a weapons workbench. But before we get to that, I do want to talk about the sound options. There are four different sound variations that you can choose from for this mod. So here is a listen to the first sound, which I believe is called field. But then we have a second option. If we switch over to this one, I believe this is the snow variation. It has a different reverb and crackling sound afterwards. Moving on from that, we have the third variation. That one's definitely much louder with a lot more reverb there. And then the final variation, which I believe is urban. The idea behind this is that you can choose which of these sounds based on what your load order looks like. So if you're running a desert playthrough, you may have one sound variation, or if you're running a snowy environment, you may choose another based on how the weapon would react and with the environment with the different reverb and sound effects, which is a pretty interesting little bit of customization. Now then, I also said earlier that there are different animation sets. The ones that we were just looking at were animation set one, which are pretty flashy, and these are actually the mildest set of animations. We did get a good look at shooting and reloading. Let's also check out the sprinting animation, as well as the melee. And there are also some idle animations if you let your character sit long enough. But let's move on to some flashier animations. Here is variation two. As you can see, throwing the weapon up into the air to get it ready. Here is your melee. Here is your sprinting. And here is your shooting and reloading. Now 
I believe he is reloading much faster in that animation, but maybe I'm crazy. Now, let's check out the flashiest with the third variation of animations. <laughs> this thing is absolutely crazy. Here's the melee. Here's the sprinting. At the very least, it gives you something to look at when you're running around through the Commonwealth, and here is shooting and reloading. Very cool stuff to be able to choose how flashy your character is with this weapon. If you're playing a cowboy, I would definitely recommend this mod. Now earlier I talked about a little roleplay aspect. I think it would be pretty interesting if you picked up this weapon early on, started with the simple set of animations, and as your character leveled up, you move on to the flashier stuff as you get more talented while equipping this weapon. That'd be a, a pretty interesting and, and fun way to run your character. Now here we are at a weapons workbench where we can check out some of the attachment options for this weapon. Really quick, because I forgot to mention it earlier, this weapon, if you want to acquire it, will not be added to the leveled list and it will not even be craftable. Instead, you're just going to have to straight up spawn this thing in through the console. So I know that may be a deal breaker for some people, but if you just want to play with a really fun revolver, I still recommend checking this one out. Not too hard to just spawn this thing in and have a whole lot of fun with it. Now then. Checking this thing out at the weapons workbench. As you can see, not a ton of attachments, but we will show off the things that we do have. First option is for variations. This is going to be the animation set. So the things I just showed you with the animations, variation one, two, and three is going to go from mild to semi-crazy to really wacky reload animations. Then we have that environment thing I was talking about earlier. This is going to change up the sound of the weapon. So the default is field, which is going to have a nice expansive crackle and reverb, and then we have forest, desert and snow, and urban. So, depending on what kind of load order you're running, these sounds are something that you can choose to reflect that. Then we also do have a material option. We have the standard Peacekeeper skin, which is going to be nice and clean with a pearl grip. But then you can also choose the Single Action Army skin, which is going to have a wood grip and a whole lot of rust and dings, which is pretty fitting for Fallout's environment. And then finally, you do get some damage upgrades from level 1 to level 4. Level 1 being 50 damage, and level 4 being 87. So, at least you can upgrade the damage on this thing as you progress and get different ranks of gun nut. And now finally, we can run to our damage tests. We're going to be testing this weapon twice today, each time on a standard Deathclaw. One with the lowest damage, and one with the highest damage available at the weapon's workbench. Both of times with no perks, so we can see how the weapon does on its own with its own merit showing itself off. So, for starters, let's check out the... Peacekeeper with standard attachments, but a pretty flashy equip animation. Let's see how this thing does. So using one full cylinder takes this death claw to about half when we're aiming at the weak spot. Let's see how we do we're taking this thing. All right, so we were able to put him down in 12 shots. If you did have the fully upgraded pistol perks, this thing would go down in only one cylinder, which is pretty nice. Let's see how we do with a fully upgraded version. And so he goes down even faster. It may seem pretty strong, but with the cost of the lengthy reload of this thing, I think it's not too shabby. Again, it gets even more powerful with pistol perks, so you can really get this thing to sling out some damage. With that, though, we're going to bring this video to a close. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to try this mod out for yourself, it will be linked down in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace! And really quick, I'd like to make a shout out to all of our patrons. Your donations are greatly appreciated and really help to support the channel in videos just like this one. So again, thank you!